Inside the offices of Sea Ideas, the future is being formed, layer by layer. Here, more than two dozen 3D printers are working around the clock, stacking materials to make physical models from digital files and turning one-of-a-kind ideas into tangible objects. Sea Ideas is a 3D printing service bureau. Uh, we help designers and engineers take their CAD data and turn it into a physical three-dimensional product. We are by far the largest 3D printing service bureau in the state of Illinois. Nationally, we're probably one of the top ten in, in capacity in the United States. Sea Ideas clients are wide-ranging, from hobbyists to big-name manufacturers in the aerospace and electronics industry. And the firm's products run the gamut, car parts, airplane window shades, even props for Hollywood blockbusters. We work, again, with, with companies both from consumer electronics all the way through automotive and, um, and healthcare. Basically, anybody who needs to create a tangible product. When you take a large company like GE or Motorola, they'll have thousands of engineers. And if they only have one or two 3D printers, they're, they're going to be bottlenecked. So they'll come to a company like us, where we have over 22 machines and over 25 materials. They can take advantage of our services and expedite the lead times quicker. Lately, 3D printing has been getting a lot of media play. And the press is good for Mr. Luttrell's business, which has grown exponentially in the last three years. But right now, 3D printing is a little bit like the Wild West, and the anything-is-possible attitude associated with it gives Mr. Luttrell some cause for worry. Right now, the biggest misconception of 3D printing is that you're going to buy a little $5,000 printer and start printing knobs for your grill or, or you know, handles for your lawnmower. You can technically do that, but there's going to be some liability issue. What material is it? Is it a, it, where'd you get the design from? Is it going to be strong enough to hold? You know, is there dangers involved with using it? Despite the fact that the company's sleek, Crystal Lake offices are booming with business, Mr. Luttrell doesn't predict that 3D printing will take the place of large-scale manufacturing anytime soon. It's not really there for the masses, but for custom, low-production-run pieces where you only maybe want 10, 50, or 100 units, it's perfect. 3D printing is growing exponentially. It's going to be an incredible marketplace. Absolutely, people are going to have them in their homes, and, and eventually, maybe one day, they'll be able to produce a part out of someone's house that are as, as good as an injection-molded part. But until that happens, which is many, many years away, uh, right now, it's a, it's a great addition to the manufacturing world. Mm -hmm.